Hello everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a really easy dog uh, profile. Uh, so as you can see just one circle really loose and fast and then the muzzle and now uh, just a kind of floppy uh, triangle shape that's the ear and already you can see uh, this is a dog that we're drawing uh, really fast real easy and now I'm going in and refining this uh, that's the brow bone of the dog the dog's face. Um, now the eye, kind of a classic droopy eye there. The dogs are really good at giving you those big droopy boo-boo eyes. And that's the nose. Um, give this puppy a smile, a dimple there in his cheek. Uh, that's going to be the tongue and the chin and that just connects right back in to create the neck and boom, dog. See how fast and easy that was? Awesome. And I've got his collar and um, tag. There we go. Okay, time to outline everything with the Sharpie marker. And I'm just going from one point to the next. Point and pull, as always. Point, pull. Um, this design I really had fun making. Um, also, I like it because it's very versatile. Uh, I think, you know, when I first drew this, I thought of a Labrador, but it works well just as your general dog uh, or mutt. And uh, also, these shapes are so easy and simple. Uh, there's not a whole lot of detail, and yet this character just conveys so much. It's very obvious we're this is a dog um, and you know if you practice this enough get some repetition going you can also you know create this look every single time and uh, as you can see I made a little mess up there but that's okay because I'm going to color up that collar a dark color where it's not even going to be obvious um, I'm going to put those little dots there on his muzzle I never seen whiskers on a dog but I know they have those little dots ah my needed eraser this thing is awesome guys. Uh, you can find it at any arts and crafts store or fine arts store. Uh, it's called a kneaded eraser and um, what's awesome about it is it is self-cleaning. Uh, it doesn't leave any dust behind like uh, regular erasers normally do and it does a pretty good job picking up most of the pencil lead. It is also a good tool for when you're drawing strictly with pencil for shading. You can create values with it. You can lighten very carefully, you know, any areas that you want to lighten. If you want to create a sense of a, like a highlight uh, or a soft light just glowing off of a surface. But anyway, kneaded eraser, love it. It's awesome. I highly recommend you, you get it yourself as well. All right, um, now it's time to start filling in this puppy with some color. I picked a kind of light brown. Um, to be honest, from where I'm looking at this video, the color looks more saturated than the actual marker itself. Um, and because this is, you know, ju I'm just starting out my new channel, you know, starting with my own equipment. Um, you know, I'm, I'm working with, with someone who's, who's really good at tech, my, my partner here. <laughs> Um, who can help with the saturation levels and we'll probably get better equipment uh, as this progresses so um, but anyway you know it'll still look good it just looks more saturated than than what the marker actually looks like um, and of course when you're drawing with mark or coloring with markers you want to use the broad side and you just want to work your your way through it carefully and slowly so you don't dry up your marker okay that looks pretty awesome. Uh, next I'm going to go ahead and color in the tongue and this is kind of a faded pink color. It's not too bright or, or gaudy. Just just right uh, for this particular subject. Uh, this is a darker brown. It's kind of a chocolatey color and I'm just using that for the eyes. Uh, the iris of the eyes. And I'm going to leave that little white circle blank because that's the highlight. Uh, this light blue is just cat is shows the shadow cast by the eyelid onto the eye, and uh, this dark blue is going to be used for the collar. Uh, you remember how I was telling you that? Oh no, I made a little mistake, and ah, there we go. I covered it up. You can hardly tell it's even there. So it's all good. 
And now for the little doggy tag, I'm just using a kind of orange yellow for gold. Um, I, I think it looked good with all the colors that I've got going on in here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and color that nose black with a sharpie. Of course you can use a marker if you want, but sharpie's fine too. And then I'm going to put in the rest of that shadow cast on the dog's eye as well as a little bit of the pupil, just a little suggestion of the pupil on the dog's eye. Uh, all that I have left is some shadow on, uh, on my doggy's face and of course around the head. This is optional, you know, and I, as you can see I'm freestyling this. Um, you don't have to do this, but I really like to make my cartoons even have, have a little bit of dimension, um, a little bit of form. Like, I really love how that, that turned out with the chin and the jaw, you know. Just a little bit, doesn't take much. And a little bit under the muzzle there. I'm just casting a little bit of shadow here and there, just really helps um, make him look like he's three dimensional and not just flat on a piece of paper. Yay! Well, I think this puppy's looking good. And I really enjoyed drawing this for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And, um, you know, happy drawing.